well, I think calculators are cheating as well. <laughs> about, what about plows? I mean, Ooh, I, it's cheating with that yeah. plow, <laughs> digging up the land. <laughs> Use a spade, you lady. Put your back <laughs> into it. I'll starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what chat GP is. What? You don't know what it is? Uh, chat GPT is it's like a, an artificial intelligence that can... It can basically use um, anything that was on the internet up until and including 2021. And it, it can it literally had access to all of that data. And so you can ask it to write text for you um, and ask it questions and it will write those text, chunks of text or it will um, answer the questions. For instance, in America, um, ChatGPT was uh, tested for the bar exam and passed uh so like it really can answer questions and 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 people i think people are uh one of the applications i think is bothering some people is the fact that like kids can use it to create their answers for like uh report writing or whatever essay writing at school so when they get homework or whatever they can just literally have this chat bot and write the essays for them and they're original and and unique and and almost impossible to tell that it's been faked. Yeah, except if there's a, a market increase in the quality. <laughs> <laughs> you it's could like, you could barely string a sentence together, and now this this magnus opus is just you were out. smacking your head and clicking every time I asked you your name. Uh, you're like D -d 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 Derek, <laughs> and now you've just put this yeah, <laughs> put this perfect history of the of the, the Roman Empire together in in a day. Yeah. But it's just basically a cheater's charter, is it? I mean, it's you're going to be able to... I mean, is it cheating, though? Because, like, I remember when we used to have this argument about calculators. It's like, well, why, why are we teaching each other to add up and take away if we've got a calculator? Just give them the calculator. That's what they're going to use when they leave school. So why why that, is it cheating? That, well, I think calculators are cheating as well. <laughs> about, what about plows? I mean, Ooh, I, it's cheating with that yeah. plow, digging up the land. <laughs> use a spade, you lazy Put your back plow. into it. I'll starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the start of cheating. That was yeah. the 90s. That's when We weren't allowed to take uh, calculators into our exams. I can't remember ever being allowed to do that. Um, at any point, maybe I've got a, a memory that's not quite correct, but um, I don't I don't remember being allowed to take anything. I, I remember having I failed had... all my exams. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well, this was high end stuff. It wasn't just like it was high end calculus. This wasn't just you know just two times table, yeah. two uh, plus. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I think if it's, if it's an arithmetic exam, you shouldn't have a calculator. But if it's like you're not being tested on arithmetic. You're being tested on trigonometry calculus. That's mm. a that's a whole diff. That's a whole different ballgame. Let me give you an example of the word ChatGPT. Uh, last night, as I was prepping for this, I asked ChatGPT to write bios for all three of us. Mm. Uh, just, I literally just wrote in the phrase, write a 100-word bio for the comedian, and then one of our names. And this is what it wrote. Now I'll tell you what I think of it after. But this this is what it wrote. For Jason Cavan, okay. Uh, Jason Cavan is a co comedian known for his quick wit and sarcastic humour. That's, that's lies. Uh, he's been entertaining the audiences for over a decade and has become one of the most sought-after comedians in the industry. Cavan's humour is inspired by his personal experience and his sarcastic approach to everyday life. He often pokes fun at current events and popular culture and has a unique ability to connect with his audience. His comedic style is relatable and he often has audiences in stitches with his clever one-liners. Cavan is a natural performer performer and his live shows are a must see for anyone looking for a good laugh that's what it wrote about you what the hell? <laughs> why has that person what? not been on your side all along i'm falling in love i'm like wow if someone said that about me i'd just yeah yeah <laughs> just kind of just uh, uh stephen carlin uh this is what he wrote about you stephen carlin is a british comedian known for his deadpan style and witty absurdist humor he has been a staple of the uk comedy scene for over two decades performing on stage and appearing on numerous television programs carlin's material often focuses on the absurdities of everyday life and the peculiarities of human behavior delivered in a dry and matter-of-fact manner that belies the intelligence and cleverness of his writing despite its understated delivery carlin's comedy has a universal appeal and he has been been praised for his unique perspective on the world and his ability to find humor in the most unexpected places 
I can testify it does not have universal appeal. <laughs> For, like trial and error and uh, the the skill of hard knocks, it does not have universal appeal. Yeah. If no. I could get it to ninety percent universal appeal, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing: before I read what it wrote about me, that it did make one error in mine, but it's an error I quite like. And then it, it there was another thing I noticed, and I can't say this of yours because I don't know enough about what's out there already to do with you on the internet, but. My bio that it wrote for me seemed to have sections of previous bios and and resume stuff that's been out there in the past or, or reviews even that have been written about me that it's kind of like taken information but it's taken it and put it into you know it's not just like clunkily copied and pasted chunks of text it's incorporated it quite well yeah. did you recognize any of the sort of word groupings in <laughs> no that's the reason I think because that makes sense I haven't had enough reviews because that's like written by someone who's never heard or seen yeah. me or known me or met me that's like a yeah that's that i'm like wow i want to i want to be that guy it did seem a bit old because it did say a decade in the yeah. industry and you've been in the industry for a couple of decades yeah so, it made me so feel maybe younger. like you either you've you there's not been much written about you or you've done nothing for the last 10 years <laughs> i suspect <laughs> <laughs> He's taken a sabbatical for the last 10 years, <laughs> but he'll be back any decade now. <laughs> well, the, the, fir the first sentence about me, or the first few words is the, is the wrong thing about me, but I quite like it and I can see how it made this mistake. But my bio reads, Will Mars is an American comedian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you messed up there within four words uh, or five words. Will Mars is an American comedian known for his witty humor and relatable content. He he first gained popularity through his stand-up comedy performances and has since appeared on several television shows and podcasts. Mars has a unique perspective on everyday life and his ability to turn ordinary situations into hilarious anecdotes has made him a crowd favorite. He also has a talent for improv, <laughs> I don't know where they've got that from, and has performed at various comedy clubs and festivals. Will Mars quick wit clever writing and infectious energy have <laughs> made him one of the most sought after comedians in the industry with his undeniable talent it's no wonder that he has become a household name in the comedy world now there are, i recognize stuff from there and some of the lines that it's found are quite worrying to me and i'll tell you why because a couple of those lines seem familiar of, of recommendation letters i've had written i had written for my us visa <laughs> and i don't believe they were in the public domain because they were never posted online. So maybe the US government keeps stuff uploaded somewhere and it's got some access to that. That's that's the only thing that's a bit weird to me. But oh, apart from that, I recognise most of the wordings from some place or other. Right. But I think that's an example of like the fact that I am a bit of a control freak, so I know more what's out there. Yeah. No, it's the same with mine. I, I, rec I can recognise where it's reject something that, mm. that it's been written in a previous review or description or something. Mm. Um, but... I, but, but I think I assume it just needs to source more things. The more reviews you've got out there, the more it will synthesize, and you won't have. Well, I think it just chooses what to take because it can source everything. That, like it wrote those within about fifteen seconds of pressing enter. It just comes up almost instantaneously. So I believe it's got access to everything apart from twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. It hasn't been doesn't for some reason have the internet up to date, um, and. Yeah, I'm sure if I asked it to do the same thing, it would come up with a slightly different one. But I feel like maybe it's got something to do with the bios and stuff that we put out there being quite generic, but they all sound relatively similar. Like they said, they're all sought after. That's yeah. quite good. Yeah, it's, it's, it says that we're all <laughs> relatable, which I, I question, but we're all sort of, we've all got a kind of quirk or individual style, but but yeah, it's relatable. It, mm. it's, it's, it seems to be hedging its bets a lot. Mm. Yeah, it'd be funny if he's like Will Mars, African American comedian, known for his racial um, take on. I'll the... be honest, it's not for everyone. That's how it's just. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine if you got like a, a critique that actually meant you could do something with it. You'd be like, oh, that's what I need to work on because yeah. like like it was an actual review. <laughs> just like came up Will Mars, two stars. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. I mean, I was. I imagine it's good algorithms about not being too offensive. And where does that line come if you want to be a bit critical or even edgy about yourself? I mean, sometimes you could be mm. borderline offensive. It, mm. it, does that allow you to do that? It, it seems at the moment a bit 
I don't know. I think we need to do some more testing. Maybe I'll start the next episode with uh, uh, a sarcastic uh, bio of me and a critical bio of you and a, and a I don't know, uh, maybe your obituary. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be that's, do you, What's it doing with all this information? Because it's going to have, people are going to ask it to write plays and scripts and yeah stuff. so it's going to be that, having... that's something people are fearful of yeah so you're giving it, it all those it can even write like uh html coding right web code and stuff like that it can write that so you can ask it to write the code and to create something for you which i think the main thing there are plenty of applications but i think the main worry it would seem was is jobs because mm. like if it can do that it for me it'd be like how long will it take before mm before quite a few jobs are made redundant. That's right, because it started off, it was just people that pulled levers that their jobs were being taken away. Like if you worked on an assembly line, you could have robots yeah. and uh, basically other people. Really interesting but, assembly lines, I've just visualized just a row of people just going. <laughs> <laughs> is, that is, that how, is that how cars are made? Yeah. <laughs> and now it's getting to sort of white collar creative jobs that mm. where you have to be able to create a right, a, yeah, a bit of text or something. Now they're going to usurp us as well. So mm. we're going to be on the scrap heap next. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, not even able to write a good essay about it because the computer will do a better one. That, that, the point I could ask it to write jokes and see how it does with that. But these, it, it has to take stuff that's found on the internet. Yeah, so, so someone else is. Yeah, thing. it's going to be a joke thief, isn't it? As a writer, or or, I mean, maybe at best it's going to take. A setup from one place and a punchline from another on a similar theme or something, and yeah. kind of like make it funny, but it's kind of two people's work. How many people's work do you have to use before it's your own? <laughs> <laughs> See, I think at the moment, if I'm, if I'm just critiquing it, it's not got a strong voice, it doesn't have a strong style. Uh, I mean, that could come with experience. Hmm. I don't want to. To write it off completely but it, at the moment it's a bit magnolia and a bit middle of the road we're all a bit similar but it doesn't so it'd, it'd be a great writer for i don't know franchise superhero movies <laughs> like like that would be the first script i'd get it to write because that isn't that what they need to be just middle of the road generic use all the things they know about give them more of the same spoon feed them the same slosh uh but it's 10 billion dollars in the box office cgi <laughs> a bit of a, yeah special effects <clears throat> and bob's your uncle yeah so th I, 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 that was my first thought about it artistically is if you're in a script writing business or any sort of writing business, writing novels, whatever, writing comedy, whatever it is, um, I think the people at middle of the road and generic, they're probably the ones whose jobs are going to be uh, pretty easy to replace. But if, you know, if you're, if you're the sort of person that's writing very unique, yeah, it basically just means that to be successful as a human being in the arts, you've got to be, you've just got to be uniquely you. You can't be gener generic. Or, the or, the the computer start pumping out such generic stuff that that becomes the norm, and then if you do something genuinely creative and interesting, people go, "That's a mistake. Burn him as a witch." <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be burnt as a, a witch, but? For your comedy, for your uniqueness, I would. No, I would not like to be a burn under <laughs> any circumstances. Just, just, as proof, just as proof you were original once. Yeah, I'd be like, wow. You burn me I, for it, you see? Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be down in the um, in the uh, the annals of time. Is it annals? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's uh, Freudian. <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever chat GBT calls it. GP, yeah. GBT, no, no, GBT. no. Chat GPT would have got that right. And he would have said the annals of time. The annals not of the time. anals. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I was thinking you were going to some. Then I was thinking, are you talking about like going to hell in one of the. That sounds like a porn movie. It's the annals of time. <laughs> <laughs> you, the minute you go in, you just lose decades. It's so good. <laughs> annals of time, too. The bandits return. 